finger is on the trigger. About to unleash a force with terrible powers beyond the comprehension of man. This force we shall know as the Mysterons. will be our hero, for fate will make him indestructible. His name, Captain Scarlet. This is the trigger, a Martian exploration vehicle. Inside, three men from Earth. Well, that about completes our patrol, Captain Black. Once again, nothing to report. But those signals we monitored at Spectrum... They must have come from somewhere. Let's just take a look over that ridge, and then we'll return to Earth. Okay, sir. Will you take a look at that? to attack. They're obviously hostile. Okay, Lieutenant, let them have it. Well, we'll survey the wreckage, Lieutenant Dean, collect a few samples, and then return to Earth. I'll go and get my spacesuit. Shut down motors. Maintain radio silence. Let's get out of here. No. Wait. Yes, sir. Launch angels one, two, and three. Destiny angel. Immediate launch. 
spectrum is green. Harmony and Rhapsody Angels. Immediate launch, Angels 2 and 3. Spectrum is green. Angel Skyborne, sir. Captain Scarlet. Any new developments? No, sir. Proceeding as planned to rendezvous with the world president and escort him to Spectrum Maximum Security Building. Captain Brown. Yes, sir. I'm putting you in charge of this operation. Yes, sir. Captain Scarlet. Sir? After the rendezvous has been effected, return here to Cloud Base. Yes, sir. Well, your first big assignment. I wish you luck. Thanks. Do you think the president's life really is in danger? Well, judging by what happened on the Martian expedition, I'd say the Mysterians have the capability of carrying out their threat. If only we were fighting something we understood, something tangible, something in three dimensions. I know what you mean. We can only hear them over our radios, but I've got a feeling they're with us all the time. congratulate you on your escape. You're a very lucky man, Captain Scarlet. Now, can I have your report? Thank you, sir. The rendezvous took place as planned. All security arrangements have been attended to. The streets of New York are cleared. Our guards are placed on all strategic buildings and the world president will soon be entering the city boundaries. Yes, Colonel White. Captain Brown, our three angels report that they are now overflying your motorcade. Spectrum is green. Spectrum is taking no chances, Captain. No, sir. Let me give you a rundown on the precautions we've taken. If you look through your window, you will see that we have armed guards placed on every building along the route. The Spectrum helicopter is overflying the motorcade the Spectrum Angels are patrolling the area. Angels is the right word for that team. I'm most impressed by all the precautions taken, Captain. However, I'll be happier when we reach our destination. We're dealing with forces that we don't completely understand. an electronic check, sir. <laughs> You're obviously carrying no weapons. Okay, don't panic. For a moment, you had me worried, Captain.
We're nearly there, sir. Well, so far, so good. So this will be our home for the next few weeks. I hope you play a good game of three-dimensional chess, Captain. I play a very good game, sir. What's that? Don't worry, sir. It's electronic eyes. They're watching our every move. Well, I can see I have nothing to fear while I'm in the hands of the Spectrum organization. I was saying, Captain Brown, I have no worry while your organization is looking after me. Captain Brown? Captain Brown, are you all right? Clark Base, there has been an explosion in Spectrum Maximum Security Building. Report, total destruction. And so, Mr. President, the first attempt to assassinate you by the Mistrons has failed. It is now our intention to move you to a new place of maximum security. But before we do so, let's take a look at what really happened. I don't understand, Captain. You'll see in a moment, sir. The pictures from the concealed cameras in your suite were recorded in another building. So luckily, they're safe. Spectrum Information Center. Roll the videotape. Roll on. Okay. Roll on. Right, try it now. The first thing that recording tells us is that you only just escaped with your life. And the second thing it tells us is that Captain Brown had a bomb on his person. Possibly a trigger to set off a larger bomb planted in the building. The whole thing is just incredible. Are you suggesting that Captain Brown was part of this plot? Captain Brown was one of my finest men. That is one of the few things I can be sure about as of this time. Since the Zero X mission to Mars, there have been a number of peculiar happenings. Captain Black, who led that expedition, again a trusted man, disappeared on his return and hasn't been seen since. And now this. Captain Scarlet. Yes, sir. You are to proceed with the President to London. And you will be escorted by the Angel Flight. The life of the world's President is in your hands. I do not have to remind you that we are fighting forces that we do not understand. Anything could happen. Spectrum Control. Spectrum New York reports body of Captain Brown found near scene of car crash. What does this mean, sir? The Captain Brown who escorted the president must have been an imposter. Something must have happened at that car crash that we don't understand. But Captain Scarlet was there. Captain Scarlet. Whatever happened to Captain Brown may also have happened to Captain Scarlet. Lieutenant Green, contact Destiny Angel immediately and tell her to escort Captain Scarlet back to the carrier. Yes, sir. to Clark Base immediately. Captain Scarlett, did you receive my message? Clark Base, Captain Scarlett does not answer. Something has happened to Captain Scarlett. Somehow the Mistrons have affected him. That means the President is in grave danger. They're just 
crossing the English coast. Lieutenant Green, put me in direct contact with Destiny Angel. Yes, sir. Destiny Angel, now listen carefully. I want you to make a dummy attack on Captain Scarlet's aircraft. Open fire and make sure you miss. S.I.G. Return to base, Captain Scarlet. You heard what they said. Spectrum, this is your world president speaking. Uh. Cloud base. Captain Scarlet and the president have ejected. Repeat, ejected. SIG, survey them on their descent. Report on their landing position. SIG. Lieutenant Green, give me Spectrum headquarters, London. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Colonel White, cloud base. Captain Scarlet and the world president have ejected approximately 60 miles southwest of London city center. Have the nearest Spectrum Pursuit vehicle on the road immediately. Yes, sir. Captain Scarlett and the President have landed. I can see their parachutes in a field near the road. Captain Scarlett has taken the President at gunpoint to a nearby car. And they are now left heading in a northerly direction. SIG, pass radio fix on car and local map references. Spectrum Pursuit vehicle will be operational in five minutes. S.I.G. Captain Blue of Spectrum. Pursuit vehicle A69, please. Pass, please. I see you have expert ratings on SPVs. It must be tricky facing backwards and driving by TV monitor. Ah, uh, you get used to it. In blue, Captain Scarlet's vehicle. White Saloon, registration CR2X00 has just turned onto M21 in direction of London Carview. Destiny Angel, I have joined the M21. I should make contact with Captain Scarlet's car in a few minutes. Perhaps the Angel. There are only two roads Captain Scarlet's car cannot take. One of them terminates at London Carview. Peel off and destroy viaduct on the London road. SIG. Well done, Rhapsody Angel. Captain Blue, Captain Scarlet's car has now turned off the M21 and is heading toward the London Carview. Spectrum helicopter A42, divert to London Carview. SIG. Calling Spectrum Angels, Captain Blue and helicopter A42. Captain Scarlet is now trapped. Soon he will be climbing the Carview. And when he gets to the top, that's the end of the line. Crazy. Your escape route is blocked. Why don't you give up now before it's too late for both of us? Spectrum helicopter A42. What is your position? I'm already heading for London Carview. 
will rendezvous in one minute. Scarlet, this is Captain Black relaying instructions from the Mysterons. We have taken over helicopter A-42. It will pick you and the President up from the Sky Park. I will again remind you, we must have the World President alive. The Mysteron instructions will be carried out. Captain Scarlett is leaving his car. He has the president at gunpoint. And they are climbing out on the girder structure at the side of the sky park. SIG. Spectrum helicopter A-42. You know the situation. As soon as you arrive, your first target is Captain Scarlett. And make sure you shoot accurately. He's right next to the president. Then winch the president to safety. All this if I don't get there before you myself. S.I.G. Helicopter A-42, I can see you. I'll stand by while you come into attack. You've got better cover than I have. You'll find Captain Scarlet on the west corner of the Sky Park. A-42, did you receive my message? Please acknowledge. Destiny Angel, Helicopter A-42 is firing at me. Must now be considered as hostile. S.I.G. Destiny Angel, come in for attack. Repeat, come in for attack. SIG. Okay, Captain, you don't stand a chance. You throw your gun away, and I'll come in and pick you both up. You heard him, Scarlet. Do what he says. Okay, Captain Scarlet. It's either gonna be you or me.
That is definitely Captain Scarlet. Members of Spectrum, our first operation against the Mistrons has been a success. The world president is safe. The man who hijacked him and fell 800 feet from the car view has been positively identified as Captain Scarlet. What is even more amazing, Dr. Fawn reports that despite his fatal injuries, he is returning to life and is no longer under the control of the Mistrons. It would seem that this Captain Scarlet is now indestructible. This presents us with the clear and exciting expectation that he will become our greatest asset in the fight against the Mistrons. <laughs> Captain Scarlet! <laughs> <laughs> 